what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 families and their homes in the Sims 4. So today we are recreating the Andrews family and real quick before I get into their family description and all of that sorts of stuff, let me just go ahead and tell you that this will create a sim right here. I did what I have done once with a previous family and I was not recording when I was creating The Sims <laughs> and I didn't realize until I went back to edit the footage and put it all together and I was kind of ticked off because obviously they look pretty good I think and I worked so hard molding their face, getting their structures all right that I, I didn't want to completely like scratch it so that's why you see me kind of just like go in and clothe them. I just went and took all their clothing off and just reclothed them basically. Um, so yeah, I did create the Sims from scratch but unfortunately I did not get that footage and I couldn't be bothered with redoing it. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, the Andrews family, their little family description says, Bo Andrews is an insensitive slob who spends most of his time watching television. Victoria is an artistic bookworm who spends most of her time reading. How is it that these two seem to be living happily ever after? So, they are shown to be complete opposites, and it is said that many citizens of Sunset Valley wonder why they got together. Um, this scenario is similar to that of the Wolf family, which was Thornton Wolf and Morgana Wolf. But despite their differences, the two are living happily forever after. They are also similar to the Pancakes family or the original Newbie family. Um, so, a little bit about them. Bo Andrews, he, obviously, like I said, <laughs> is married to Victoria. They share a really good relationship despite their complete opposite, you know, personalities and looks. He gets along with his neighbors. He is friends with Bessie and Buster Clavel and acquainted with their son Xander. He's also acquainted with the new guy Christopher Steele and his wife's friend Gus, BB, and Dory Hart. So, yeah, he seems like a very nice, friendly guy. He's got a lot of friends, right? But it says that in his little bio, let me go ahead and read that to you. It says, Bo's dashed hopes of becoming a professional athlete manifest themselves in a slovenly appearance and general bitterness. But he does love his wife with all his heart. So, apparently he wanted to be an athlete one day, but his dream was ruined, leading to his sloppy appearance and unfit body. As he started out unemployed, it is Wait, it is possible, yeah, it is possible for him to pick up this dream at the start of the game. Um, I personally never played this family, um, so I never really went in and had him slim up and become the athlete he's always wanted to be. But, you know, he is kind of similar to the um, Bob Pancakes, in a sense. Uh, and I always did that in The Sims 4. I always do that when I play with Bob. You know, I just kind of slim him up and give him a little bit of motivation because he wants to better himself. So, I mean, if you want to deal with the Andrews family, feel free to do that. You know, you could have him continue to be bitter and all of that, which I think is kind of like fun too. The fact that he's a slob and a couch potato and, you know, his wife's kind of, you know, taking care of him. It's a little bit different, but I think it's kind of like a fun story to play, but little bit about his wife Victoria. Her biography states that when Bo's dreams of becoming a professional athlete was not realized, Victoria knew that she would have to change her priorities if she wanted to be with this wonderful sim, and so she did. She studied art and writing and dreamt of the day that she could use her creativity to support her husband in the way that he deserves. So, um, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so she loves him. So she basically prioritized her whole life around him and supporting him because she thinks he deserves it. Maybe she has like a heart for him. Obviously, she has a heart for him, but you know, she just kind of feels bad. I don't know what it is that caused Bo to not, you know, pursue his dream of being an athlete. Maybe it was an injury. I know that in real life, that's the case most of the time, that there is an injury that kind of prevents you from going any further in your dreams and your career, which is really sad. It really is. And I understand how it can cause a lot of bitterness, but anyways, she gets along with all of her neighbors as well. She seems to be a very friendly sim. Both her and Bo are adults, so um, they are very close, well, they're 19 days away from being an elder. She is a freelance writer in the journalism career track, and she, um, 
also wants to become a new star anchor. So that was her lifetime wish. So in The Sims 3, obviously you can take the branch to do like writing, um, like be an author, or you can take the journalism branch where you can be a, like a star news anchor. <laughs> that came out really weird. A star news anchor, which I really loved that career a lot. That was like one of my favorite careers in The Sims 3. So that's really cool. But I think Victoria is so cute. She is such a pretty Sim. She's very classy looking. And I just obviously she has like a really good heart and she loves her husband and they don't have any kids and they are both adults i don't really know why they don't have any kids i just know that their house i always thought was so beautiful so beautiful but it always annoyed me because it only had one bedroom and i'm like ah oh, i understand it's a family that is two sims it's a two sim family but like, there's really no room in this beautiful house for you to grow a family, which has kind of always bothered me a lot. <laughs> I like houses that, you know, you can grow a family in. So, I don't know. I don't know why they don't have children. Maybe they can't have children. I know that's a very sad and heartbreaking situation in a lot of people's lives, but, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe they don't want children. I, I don't know. Maybe they don't, but... I, I don't know. <laughs> this house is very pretty and I just, it bothers me that I don't even know how you would add another bedroom or add on to this house and grow a family in this house because it is so oddly shaped. So yeah, we're doing the little floor plan here. This, this floor plan, y'all, this, the shape of this house, I struggled with it. It didn't look like I struggled with it, but that is because it's probably about the third time that I attempted to do it. I tried so many times and it was just a mess and I was like, this is going to be so hard to edit. So I would just like scratch it and bulldoze it and start completely over, which kind of worked out in my favor because I kind of knew what worked and what didn't work. But I finally got it right and the house is beautiful. It really is. It's just uniquely shaped. The floor plan is very unique. And I don't know, I really love this house. I think it's so warm and so cozy. But like I said, it just kind of bothers me that you can't add on to it. But, you know, some people don't like to play with big families like me. And I forget that sometimes. Sometimes people just like to play out a Sims story. And if you want to play out the Andrews family story in The Sims 4, if you download this family, this house is perfect for them. I really do think it has a lot of Victoria's personality in the house. Um, it's very cozy, like I said. I I love it. I really, really do. But anyways, I think their yard is so pretty too. Th this house just has curb appeal. Y'all know what I'm saying? Straight up curb appeal. And I am a major fan of it. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it on the Andrews family. They're not very like popular there's not a lot of juicy gossip behind their story we don't really see them in any other uh generations or family members and other packs of the game but i mean they're, they're a cool family i like their story i like how they're kind of related to the newbie family in a sense or kind of like yeah relate not related uh what what is the word i'm looking for oh my god what is what is the word i'm looking for they're similar, there you go, to the Pancakes family and the newbie, newbie family. Sorry, you guys, I, I'm struggling. I was like, you got to do this voiceover, girl, you got to. Um, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but the side of my tongue, <laughs> it hurts. I don't know if I bit it, if I burnt it. It feels like I bit it because it's like right back there by my back teeth. And for the past two days, it has hurt me so bad, like, trying to talk and trying to eat. It's kind of swollen, like, I know it sounds kind of gross, but I, I think it's, I, I think it's just kind of where I bit it, because it doesn't look infected or anything, which is gross, but, yeah, so, it's been hurting me, and that's why I kind of sound like I'm struggling to talk, because I am. <laughs> but anyways, I'm pushing through, I'm trying to get this week's upload schedule on track as normal so bear with me while I can't make any promises but this past week or this past last few well the last few weeks I've been just like busy like just planning a lot of stuff and I've been going out of town on the weekends and all that fun stuff but <clears throat> last week I was just kind of 
preparing for the gender reveal of our baby, which if you guys follow me on Twitter, you probably saw that I'm having a baby boy and I am so excited. If you have watched any of my speed builds where I kind of talk about it and give little updates, you know that that was what my heart was set on. I wanted a boy so bad and I feel kind of bad saying that. <laughs> Because it's like, oh, so you wouldn't be happy if you got a girl? Like, yes, I would be very happy if I had a little girl. I do want a little girl. But ever since I was a little girl myself, I always wanted a big brother. So I always imagined and hoped and prayed that when I was able to have kids, that I would have a boy first because I've just always wanted a big brother. And also my boyfriend is the last um, generation. So if he wasn't to have a son, their name wouldn't be carried on. So I know it was very, very exciting for his family to have a boy first, kind of get that out of the way. So it's like, hey, whew, we got our boy, the name's being carried on and just... It, now it's cool. We're good. We're good. If we have more kids, it can be a boy, it can be a girl. We don't care, but we are so freaking excited, you guys. And I just want to say again, thank y'all so much for just, you know, being excited with me throughout this pregnancy. And it just, it really does mean a lot. Um, you know, I have so many good friends, like in person, a big family that are so excited, but it's, it's crazy to have a family online, essentially, that I've never met, but we're friends. We share this bond and this connection and this love in the Sim community for this game. And I just think it's amazing that you can have friendships like that, you know, online. And it's kind of weird, but not really. So anyways, thank you guys so much for just being so sweet and kind. And it really does mean so much to me. I really just can't, like, um, elaborate or, like, er el I repeat that like when I, I don't know how I'm trying to say y'all I don't know how to speak <laughs> but anyways thank y'all so much so yeah that was what was going on last week that's why I kind of was lacking a little bit on videos so this week I, my boss is out of town thank you lord <laughs> and so I have a lot of spare time to record and edit and do all that fun stuff but y'all here's my struggle right okay so obviously, The Sims 2 Let's Plays on my channel are by far the most popular Let's Plays, mostly because we don't have a lot of Sims 2 simmers on YouTube anymore because the game is so old, but so many people still enjoy it. I still love The Sims 2, so that's why it's more popular than like any Sims 4 LP I've ever done or Sims 3 or Speed Builds. Like it's just The Sims 2 is just is different. It kind of puts me in a different category. So. I am definitely going to keep up The Sims 2. I've been enjoying it. And I know you guys enjoy it so much. So I'm not going to give up on that. But y'all, I have been struggling with The Sims 4 content lately. Just like the game in general. And don't get me wrong. I absolutely love The Sims 4. I've been playing my current household, which is a not so berry. And I've having so much fun. But when it comes to uploading and having Sims 4 content for my channel, it has been a struggle. Like, I had the LP, our story. I haven't recorded it. I haven't, I don't even know if I want to go forward with that just because it's like I like it. I like the story, but it's just kind of discouraging when not a lot of people are giving it a lot of attention. They don't really care for it as much as the other content on your channel. Does that make sense? Uh, many of you who are YouTubers, simmers, you probably can relate to that. You know, you have other series on your channel that are doing better than one. It's kind of like why even bother with the one that's not doing well, you know? So, I don't know if I'm pulling the plug on that because I really do want to have like a Sims 4 LP, but I just can't seem to find the one yet. Um, but also, I've been struggling with building too. Yeah, I just want to recreate Sims 3 families. <laughs> I love this series so much, you guys. Y'all don't even know. It's so much fun to create the Sims and recreate their homes. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I, I could build and do this like non-stop on my channel if I had nothing else on my channel but this I'd be content because I love it that much so I'm definitely going to continue with that I did ask in previous videos if you guys would want to see different neighborhoods or different worlds per se in The Sims 3 once we finish Sunset Valley because we don't have very many families left we maybe have six seven left which seems like a lot but not really um, so I did ask would you guys like to see you know Twinbrook families Appaloosa Plains even, you know, some nightlife um, and me having 
recreating the families and the apartments and kind of furnishing the apartments and the sims for that way there's just something about recreating things that are is so appealing to me i love it it's so much fun so i had a lot of you say yes and then of course like i love it so much i'm just going to keep going <laughs> so i think after we wrap up <laughs> um sunset valley i'm going to possibly I was going to do Riverview because that was the free world that was released to us after The Sims 3 was released because we only got Sunset Valley in the base game. And then we got Riverview, which was a free town you could download from the store. And then the next town was, or the next world was Twinbrook with Ambitions. So I was like, okay, we can do Riverview or we can do Twinbrook. And I went into the game, looked at both of them, looked at all the families, and oh, I think I'm leaning towards doing Twinbrook just because I'm holding out for a world one day that is country themed because Riverview and Appaloosa Plains is so southern based and I'm from the south. I really want to see a world that looks more southern where you can have farmhouses because you can build farmhouses in the world that we have in The Sims 4 and you can make it work but like the way it, it works in The Sims 4 y'all know there is a neighborhood aesthetic that you kind of have to match your houses around which you don't have to but i like to and there's just not there's just nothing there for that southern farmhousey feel unless you're doing like a farmhouse in windenburg like in the country of windenburg but that's kind of different that's not what i'm talking about like i need something like southern and country based you know kind of like appaloosa plains or riverview like a farm town i want that so bad so hopefully by the time i finish sunset valley and then twin brook because twin books their houses are so pretty. I love the family so much in Twinbrook. And I know a lot of you love Twinbrook. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. But anyways, I know that a lot of people would like to see more. Cause I want to do more. But I'm holding on to that pack. So I'm hoping that maybe we'll have some kind of world or pack or something released to us that can have me kind of fulfill that <laughs> um so yeah we'll see but yeah i'm having fun with this series in case y'all haven't noticed it's kind of like all i've been doing i'm like obsessed with it which kind of like get, get getting back to what i was saying about speed builds i just can't seem to want to build anything else i have so many houses pinned on pinterest and i like them and then i go to build them and i just I can't get into it. I can't. I just, I keep thinking about the next family in The Sims 3 I want to recreate. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm going to try to keep recreating, um, well, I'll not try, I am going to keep recreating the families in The Sims 3 and building their houses, but also I need to finish um, remodeling some of the houses. I do like to do renovations for the EA houses and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. It kind of helps me when it comes to building. It saves me a lot of time instead of like coming up with a floor plan and all of that. I can just go in and remodel what EA has done and just make it prettier. Just fix it up a little bit. I still want to do apartments and all of that. But like right now, it's just, I am struggling. And I am just, I'm waiting patiently, you guys waiting so patiently for the sims team the sims to announce something to us i feel like it has been ages it has been ages <laughs> since we got seasons and it really hasn't but it feels like it and i need and i need something new i need it bad and i can be patient whatever day they want to give it to us whatever month it comes but i need a teaser i need a trailer i need an announcement i need to know what's coming and i feel like it's coming soon because it's been so long since they've announced anything but it's just taken so long it's taken so long that it's just going to come out of nowhere and i have my notifications on for all the sims tweets that way when they tweet something it gets to my phone like asap and i can go check it so yeah i have been watching i have been refreshing just making sure i didn't miss anything so i hope i hope it's soon because i know a lot of us are like struggling we're just waiting <laughs> but yeah i'm excited i really am and i'm hoping it's university i really am i think that they hear us when it comes to the things that we want um, the things that we are lacking in The Sims 4. I think they have a lot of good stuff coming our way. They did pretty much confirm, I think, pretty positive they confirmed that The Sims 2 has at least two more years of content. So that means like possibly two or more years until we get The Sims 5, which is fine with me. 
I like The Sims 4. You know, maybe not popular opinion, but I like it. And um, I, I think that as they add more stuff to it, you know, it's just going to keep getting better. And I really do think that they've been listening to the, you know, the the simmers and what we want to see and i think that's very important so yes i am super excited but anyways y'all back to the andrews family in their house i have about com completely furnished the whole daggone thing and ain't talked not one bit about it so you're welcome <laughs> but anyways i hope you guys like their house i like i said think it turned out so pretty so pretty so pretty like so pretty you hear me it's so pretty <laughs> but i love it i love the color scheme i think it's so cozy i love that tile flooring and in their house originally in the sims 3 they had that tile flooring when you came into the entryway and when i built this house for the sims 4 i was like "Ooh, i don't know do i really want to do that and at first i could not find the right tiling that i wanted to use but i remember this jungle came with jungle adventure the tile that i used downstairs it's like my favorite towel, but I always forget about it because the little default, like, tab, like, in, in the item or build mode, you know what I'm talking about? It, it doesn't look pretty, so I forget that, oh, that's actually, like, a very pretty tile. But anyways, I remember that, and it brought the color scheme and made the color scheme flow so nicely, tied everything in, and I... I love it. But anyways, like I said, this house is too pretty to be so small. <laughs> so if any of you can think of any way to add on to this house, let me know. But I just don't see it because it's so unique. The shape of it and the layout of it is so unique. It's like, okay, I don't really want to like change it because it's so pretty. But I don't know. I, I can imagine maybe they can't have kids. Maybe Victoria would want to adopt in the future. I don't know that's a possibility but if you like this family and you want to download them on the sims 4 they are available for download so make sure you go check them out also their house is available for download as well but in two ways we are done here so i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not and i will talk to you guys later bye